Question 52 then, a little mathematical snack to get your teeth into. Let's see how you get on with this one. Here's the question. So we've got powers all over the place. I'm calling them powers. Um, what do you call them? How many words can you think of that expresses uh, that express this idea of something being raised to a power? Um, have a think about that for a second. I can think of four. Index, order, exponent, and then power, the word I've just used. And um, uh, it's quite interesting because um, when I'm talking to some of my students about um, what I was taught was bod mass, um, some of them say bid mass, and some of them some of them say bed mass. So I've got into the habit of asking them um, which one they've been taught to use. But nobody, so nobody I've come across so far says b -b -b mass. That's uh, not one that I've seen <laughs> or heard before. Thank goodness. Anyway, I digress. This is the uh, the question again. <clears throat> we are looking at these indices uh, or powers or whatever you might want to call them now, and um, it's clear that um, the we've got two on the left hand side. And the four, the 16, and the eight are all um, powers of two. So this gives me a clue as to how to approach this question. I'm going to reduce each one of those or convert each one of those to a power of two. So I've converted the four into two squared here. The 16 into two to the power four. And the eight, I've converted that into two to the power three. So two squared times three to the power p, I'm using my index law and I'm multiplying those indices together. I'm doing the same for the others as well. And then when I multiply the two numbers on the numerator together, I simply add the indices and then um, I uh, when I'm dividing by 2 to the power 3p minus 3q, that's the same as multiplying by 2 to the power minus 3p minus 3q. So I've got this rather um, nasty looking power here, but uh, thankfully it simplifies down quite nicely to 2 to the power 7p plus 7q. So, as, you, as we normally do, go back to the question, look to see what the question's asking us to do, find an expression for n in terms of p and q. Well, we haven't actually done that yet. So, what we can now do is say that 2 to the power n is equal to 2 to the power 7p plus 7q, and then finally, we can write down the answer to the question. So how did you get on with that? Um, easy to make some um, little arithmetical mistakes along the way, as well as um, uh, applying the index, index laws incorrectly. So there's a, there's a little bit of a uh, care needs to be taken there. Anyway, um, there are different ways as well. You could, you could um, do this in slightly different ways. Um, Hopefully you got the same answer as me. If you did, well done.